Last Vlogmas was all about riding other people's horses, and it's safe to say some owners were more supportive than others. What are you doing with your hands back down here? This year it's back. I'll be riding even spicier horses than last year, but of course there's a twist. It's time for the pros to ride mine too. Welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Now you might be able to tell from the plaques behind me, this is the eventing video. Now Lucy and Justine told me to be a sponge for this one because I am with one of the greatest of all time in eventing. So I'm absolutely gonna soak up as much information as I possibly can. But this one is a little bit different from the other ones. It's actually a really, special and very important message that we're going to be talking about so there is going to be some riding but we're also going to be talking about the amazing story behind this incredible woman so we'll head into the tack room and go meet her hello hello, hello. nice to see you both again welcome, welcome. i'll just keep the heat in here Yes, it's very cold today. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very cold. Yeah, not being kind to us. So, you guys will be able to tell that we have come to the amazing Nicola Wilson's yard up in Yorkshire. And we've also got Tara Stewart here. Pony obsessed from a young age, Nicola's dream was always to get to the Olympics. She had her badminton debut in 1999 when she rode a horse called Mr Bumble. Now this was an exceptionally special story because she produced Mr Bumble from the Pony Club days all the way to the top of the sport. Fast forward to the late 2000s and Nicola gained her first British senior place. This was on a different horse and possibly one of the most famous in the eventing world, Opposition Buzz. Together they clenched team gold at the 2009 European Championships. This was the start of many impressive results for Nicola and Opposition Buzz, culminating in that all important Olympic ride. She represented Team GB at the London Olympics in 2012 and helped them secure that all-important Team Silver medal. Since then, Nicola has gone on to ride so many horses to success. Annie Clover and Balana each made five-star and team appearances, and in 2021, Nicola secured team and individual European gold on JL Dublin. Sadly, in 2022, Nicola's career came to an abrupt halt following a life-altering fall at Badminton Horse Trials. Nicola suffered severe injuries and spent a long time in intensive care. Being the inspirational lady that Nicola is, her story isn't one of defeat, but instead one of resilience and hope. Nicola is now teaching the next generation of Olympians, and today I am lucky enough to have a lesson from one of the greatest event riders in the world. It's nice to have you all the way up here in North Yorkshire, but I'm sure it's cold throughout the country, not just, just mm. in North Yorkshire today. No, it really is, <laughs> really is. So, we are going to be talking a little bit more about this after we've done the riding, but today's video is actually supported by Spinal Research. So Tara, you're the chair of Spinal Research, aren't you? I am, yeah. And Nicola, you're an ambassador. I am, for, indeed. Yeah, the amazing charity. So, they are very kindly donating an amazing prize because this is Vlogmas. So they're donating two tickets to Badminton Horse Trials on the Saturday for 2024. So remember to head over to Instagram to enter that. But it's fantastic to, to have your support for this video. It's a really special one to come and film and I'm, I'm really privileged to actually come up here and have a lesson with you, Nicola. I'm so excited Aww. for it. But no, it's, it's really fantastic and I'm looking forward to actually chatting more about it after because there are some very positive exciting things happening there really are yeah. there really are which is yeah it's just amazing but firstly i need to be put through my paces don't we <laughs> indeed maybe we need to go and meet the horse we do so the lovely heidi woodhead has provided a gorgeous horse haven't actually met him yet but i've been told very good things so we're going to head out and have an eventing style lesson, aren't we, Nick? Can we you be are. Nice? Yes. Yes, of feeling, course. Feeling we'll be nice. nice. <laughs> feeling nice. Yes. I was really lucky to actually meet you. What was it about ten days ago? Was it? It was. I was at Bishop Person mm -hmm. doing the Piggy March demo, and your teaching was amazing. So I'm feeling really reassured now that you're going to be very kind. <laughs> no be pressure okay. there, then. Yeah. <laughs> Be nice, be nice. <laughs> exactly, oh, exactly. You'll be great, you'll be great. I'm yeah. sure it'll be hopefully a bit of fun. And you wanted to do some technical lines also, I think. 
Yes. So yeah. link in a little bit of the cross country too. So yeah, I I always you know chat all the talk before I come, and then I get in, and I'm like. Mm. Maybe we don't need to do technical stuff. But no, it'll be very good. Okay, shall we leave the warmth of the tack room? Head down to the arena. Indeed. Brilliant. Shall I bring my hat? Yes, yeah, get that. Yeah, hat. definitely. It's chilly. Right, let's head down there. So, we have met the lovely Steed. This is G with Georgie on top. Can we have a little introduction? Sure. G, um... G's proper name is Gallant DHI. He's a 12 year old gelding that has competed to freestyle level and eventing. Perfect, so I should be all right. Yeah. And you've given him a little ride around. Any uh, any tips for me? Um, keep your leg on and don't let him speak too much. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, okay, right. Should be fine then. Should be, <laughs> I'm in capable hands, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Bro, right, should we um, do the all important swap? Absolutely. As much as I would love to just pass your riding <laughs> off as mine, sadly people will notice. Is it too late to take my coat off? It's quite warm, isn't no, it? No, you can take your coat off. You might get hot seeing this disaster of me riding around. Don't be silly, come on. Positive <laughs> mental attitude. You know, you can go into the ring and know you're on a really good jump and you can talk yourself into jumping clear or talk yourself into that jumping. That is very true. And having, having fences down. Thank you. Cool. Good boy. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, he's sporty. He's sporty. <laughs> He's sporty spice. Sporty spice. Sporty spice. My well done. ponies are very much not. Do your stirrups spice. feel all right? I think they do. Yes. At the moment. Okay. We'll just have a little bit of a um, get to know him. So a bit of a walk around, exactly as you are with the looser rein, and just use your leg. Remember, you're giving him the confidence. You're his coach. Yep. So you give him a nice little support, as if you're holding his hand with your leg. Are you hearing me all right? Yes. Yes, we forgot you. to put the earpieces oh, in, didn't, yes, we? didn't we? But so with your leg, hold his hand and say, go on, you're all right, go forward. OK. So so that at the moment he's meandering a little bit, isn't yeah, he? Yeah. So yeah. use your lower leg and just give him a little bit more purpose to the walk. So he does, he walks on. That's it. So you've got you've got a marching walk. That's it. Good with your reins. So he's got somewhere to walk to. Brill. Good boy. That's it. So now you've got purpose, but keep supporting and holding his hand with your leg. OK. Good, and then let's take that through into the trot and you could just play around with the trot on, on both reins. And still with that nice little bit of support with your leg. Yes, you are on the correct diagonal. I was about to say sit, look up. <laughs> and I sensed what you were up to. That's it, good, well done. So, so just like get used, flexible. get used to the ride, get used to the feel that he's giving you. A few changes of the rein, straight lines, using those fences as your focal point. We talked about that the other day, didn't we? Yeah. So it gives you a centre, uh, a, a middle to your your circle. Yes. And it encourages you and helps you be more accurate. Okay. Good. Well done. Good boy whilst giving him chance to acclimatise to where he is. Yes. And you chance to find out where the buttons are and, and how he responds underneath you. Good, and then if you transition forward to walk. Good, support with the leg. Very responsive to your, your is age, isn't he? <laughs> and then trot on again. Well done. Then feel happy to work him into the canter as well. Yep. Now that you've been on both reins. Yeah, I think he's feeling good. Yeah. He's lovely. <laughs> he, you, he feels you look very good. smart. You look good together. Oh dear, sorry darling. That's fine. So let's repeat that. It was a little bit of a shock to both of you, wasn't <laughs> it really? <laughs> Bad so just, preparation. just prepare him a little bit more for the transition. Okay. Just breathe yourself through your body and then ask him to canter on the turn or on a circle. Good, super, well done. And then with both legs, hold his hand, say, go on, canter forward. So he canters forward and into the outside rein. Good, how straight does he feel there? I feel like I'm a little bit like shoulders in. Yes. Am I? 
Just use a little bit more outside rain. That's okay. it. And straighten his neck up a little bit. That's it. That's better, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Good. And then hold him with your lower leg and say, come on, keep cantering through. And when if you're on the three-quarter line, that's fine, but make sure you're nice and straight. Okay. Good. And then a circle at this bottom end. Good, Meg. Well done. So look where you're going. So you're guiding him with your eyes and using your, your body language to help turn him as well. Okay. So he follows your weight aid and your eyes so he knows where he's going. Yeah. And the hand being the last thing to go to. That's it. And then down this next long side, let's see what gears he's got. Let's move him on a little bit forward in the canter, staying in the saddle and then collect him. So collect the canter, grow taller, tuck your bum underneath you, hold him with your lower leg, super. So you get that variation within the canter Yeah. and you're working on the elasticity of the canter. Good, Meg, good, well done. And then collect him, grow taller in your shoulders, tuck your bum underneath you and support him with your leg. So you're training him with your body weight and your body language. Yeah which makes it easier when you're wanting to do your, your, your jumping phases at, for, at, at an event. And then back onto the circle, so turn in front of me. So you're turning with the outside leg, outside rein. And then bring your hands together as a pair. Oh, yeah. Good, that's <laughs> it. Somebody once said to me, what's the matter with your hands, Nicola? And I said, I don't know. I looked down at them, they looked fine. You're not driving a wagon, he <laughs> said. <laughs> okay. So yes, do your correction, but then bring them back to neutral. Good, okay, and then let's trot and change the rein. Oh, boy. Good, prepare for your, tra your canter transition this time, so it's not a surprise to him. Yeah. And work on that straightness like you did the other way. So you know that he'll go forward, he'll, st he'll slow down, he'll yeah. turn right, he'll turn left. So you, whatever you're wanting to do with him, be it dressage, show jumping, cross country, or go for a nice hack, you've got your basics, you've got your control panel, yes. and your buttons all there. That's it. And this way he wants to just carry his quarters in a little bit, doesn't okay. he? So as you make your turn at the top of the arena, make sure you complete the turn with, with um, his quarters to the track. Sorry, darling. Sorry, darling, good uh -huh. boy. That was terrible from me. Circle once more, but this time circle by using the outside aid and your eye. And then once you've instigated the turn, bring your inside hand back up again. Okay. So, you're inside, so your hands are a pair. Yes. That's it, good. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. And then move him on in the canter. Good, good and then boy. collect him. Grow taller, tuck your bum underneath you and use your lower leg to say, and collect. Good, Meg, well done. And then complete the turn, so his bottom's to the track, and then go into your medium canter. Yes, good. And then collect him, grow taller. Sit to the inside of the saddle here and push him out to the outside rein. Good. Sit to the inside of the saddle and move him on. Good. And then collect him. Grow taller. Good. And then onto a big circle at this end. And try not to use the inside rein, Meg, to make the turn. Okay. Use the outside leg and where you're looking and you're and wait into the inside stirrup to turn him. That's it. So it's not with an open inside yeah. rail. Yeah, now make the circle small around this pink fence without an open inside rain. Lift your inside rain up to the repair and circle oh once more until you feel that he's circling without you having to pull in with the inside rain. That's it. Good girl. Well done. That's it. Good. And then go straight again and do the same around the red oxer. Then collect him. So inside hand up to the up the up to the neck. 
Well done. Good. So you're fi finding a different way to turn him rather than opening the yeah. inside hand and pulling him with the inside rein. Good. That's better. And as a consequence, are you noticing anything? Is there anything that's feeling easier? I feel like I'm like losing his outside shoulder less. Yes, And we're, we're coming out a bit straighter. Absolutely. So then you have an easier horse to ride. Yeah. And that's the whole point, isn't it? So we're making it easier for him and easier for us. Yeah. So we have a little breather. He's worked hard there Boy. already. Good lad. Good. Well done. Whew. He's so smart. Isn't he just? <laughs> Good lad. You are very posh, mate. Oh. Well. Got a lot more buttons than the Connemaras, that's for sure. <laughs> well, they're all, they're, they're just all different. They're all different. Well done, you. <laughs> so on both reins, you are, you have a little tendency to open the rein and pull. Yeah. To turn. Yeah. So exactly as you say, when you do that, you lose the shoulder. Yeah. So then if you're then coming to a fence, You've already lost the straightness and it's like, oh, holy moly. Yeah. How am I, you know, how do I get there correctly? But if you make the turn by turning the outside of the horse, so then you're looking that way, you're looking left, yeah. but you've got, a, you've got the connection through the outside rein and you use your outside leg, your horse then stays upright and on his train tracks. Yeah. So then you can come out of your circle and to a fence with a horse that's connected, straight and balanced. Yeah. And then suddenly the distance is really easy to see. Uh, so you're taking the pressure off yourself by being disciplined in the way that you're, you're riding your horse. Yeah. Well, yeah? it counts for so much, doesn't it, the approach? Doesn't and it? I am, Absolutely. I'm so guilty of just doing that and then I've got no shoulder. And then, like you said, you're just facing at a fence. Yeah, with, well, like, you just then make it more difficult. But the important thing about the warm-up phase and what you've just been doing here, not only have you got to get to know a complete stranger, yeah, but you've also got to, um, yeah, get to know him, find out where his buttons are, and then try to work with anything that he, his own little personalities. Yeah. You know, they all have their own little individualities, don't yeah. they, that they like yeah. to do. Um, so you, in a very short space of time, have got to find that out yeah. hopefully with the help of me yeah um, but just be aware of that that when we then start to play around with the jumping that actually you've got him through the outside rein and you're turning him with yeah. your body just as we did then yeah okay yeah good Boy. okay how are you feeling yeah good i think ha he's happy? very different to what i'm used to but yeah no he's lovely so I yeah think Think we'll be all right? I think so too. Should we um, have a little jump? Alistair, you wouldn't mind getting me a cavaletti out, would you please? Dear Al. Al, will you do this? Al, will you do that? <laughs> Thank you. He's good at looking after me. I promise you I'm not just lazy. <laughs> Maybe on the corner there is lovely, on the corner. Yep, there. Perfect. Fabulous. I like the um, a cavaletti, or as we did the other day, a pearl on the floor. But a cavaletti, because then you can keep circling until you really feel happy with, yeah. with your canter, your balance, your line, and the feel he's giving you. Yeah. Um, and um, so you can just nicely, nicely play away until those two individuals then become one. Harmony. Let's hope. Harmony, Meg. I don't know if I'm, yeah, very quick at harmonising with horses. You are, you are. Which rain um, are you happier to start on? I think I, I feel all right on both of them. On both of them? Good, yeah. good answer. Yeah, he, well, he's beautifully straight and trained, so. <laughs> good answer. Right, well, let's start on the left rein then, Fair. shall we? Um, and we'll just um, pick up the canter. Okay. And I want you to just canter on a circle. So we'll come after the Cavaletti, We'll, we'll come round in between these fences here and then repeat the Cavaletti. Okay. Do I need to move that white pole? Is there I enough think room? I'm, I think I should be all right. If I, I, if I turn with my outside rein, I'll be fine. I think. Wing round with my inside and maybe not. Hit the nail <laughs> on the head. <laughs> Just give yourself a chance to establish the canter. And your job here is to really look after the um, the canter rhythm, the balance within the canter, and then the line to the to the cavaletti or the fence. Okay. Super. Well Bad. done. 
Good. Good boy. And your lower leg there, supporting him so you can hold his hand with your leg. Okay. Then just start to look across to the Cavaletti so you give yourself chance to feel the rhythm and feel the distance, sense the distance. Sorry, Dad. Good That's boy. That's fine. That wasn't your fault. But the time before, did you feel that he drew back four strides out? Yeah. He did it more that time. Okay. So, so hold, that... hold your leg to him and, 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 and keep that rhythm. Now keep that rhythm. Yes, yes. Super. Brilliant. There you did it spot on. Okay. The first time he slightly drew back, the second, and because you weren't, you didn't realize, he then the second time he drew he back even more. more. Yes, super, good, well done. And let's just change the rein and do the same on the other rein. Ooh. Really good. <laughs> and eyes up, look right. Sorry, Dom. You were, you were drawn there to the base of it, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. You I think that is, yeah, that's my go to, is yeah, really underneath and as, the as it is with lots of us. So look across here. Out both legs, outside rain. As you get closer, look up and look right. Fabulous. Better, yeah. That was lovely. Much better. Really good. Well done. One more just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Yes. And look right. Oh, good don't boy. worry, don't worry. You so good. But well done. Let's just walk a moment. It was a fluke, wasn't it? Good Sorry? Boy. I said it was a fluke the other time. No, it wasn't. But Good that time boy. you were drawn back to looking back down again, weren't you? So, so I was. He, oh. So he was like, "Oh, is there a hazard down there? Yeah. Should I? What? What does she want me to do? Your controls, your your instructions stopped. Yeah. So then he was like, "Oh, now then, what does she want me to do here? Yeah. So that was why it was difficult. Okay. What? A, what? And what a great mistake to make. <laughs> Because you know you can you can analyse that and think okay that was I, I just did one little thing perhaps that I shouldn't have done yeah I can sort that out easy yeah. yeah so now come again concentrate on the three things you've just been concentrating okay. on the rhythm the balance and your line yeah yeah and make sure that your eyes are up not looking down yeah. and it'll be as and it, it'll be as beautiful as it was the time before yeah and look across good. And train your eye to look up. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I need to look after her now. No, no, I don't. I find it so hard to look up because I'm so in, in such a trap of looking for a stride. Yes. Hold, be caught. Yes, yeah, super. Good Fabulous. Boy. Good. What a good boy. That's it. Well done. And make a fuss of him. Good lad. And because you did perfection a few times ago before that one, then by me saying let's do it again, yeah. make sure it's not suddenly we put a bit of extra pressure yeah. on you. Yeah. And it's interesting how you can emulate a little bit of competition environment, can't you? Just by what what you say. Yeah. So yeah, then absolutely. so then that happened and then you tried to be perfect, so perhaps you did too much. And then you got perfection again. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you went through like a whole little cycle of 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 training. Yeah. Yeah, didn't you there? Which was brilliant. It was good. That last time was was spot, was perfect yeah, again, no, wasn't it's, it? It's the looking up I find so difficult to like take my eye off the fence. But... Yes. But even though I am looking at you, I can yeah. see this fence. I can see the camera, I can see this fence. Yeah. So you can still see everything like in your it. peripheral vision. And that's exactly right. It's trusting it. Mm. So even though you're coming to the fence and then just before, literally just before takeoff, you look in the direction you're going, you're explaining to the horse where yeah. you're going. Yes, yeah. so that then he can help and land on the correct canter lead. He also lands balanced, but it also, says to him that actually something else is happening. There's yeah. a continuation to the sentence. It's not a full stop. Yeah. The time before when you were looking here, it was as if it had the whole sentence had completed. Full stop. Yeah. 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 You're so sweet. Glenn, you're a good boy. I think what we may well do is um, come over the Cavaletti behind me on the right rein.
Well done. And then look left, look left. Super. Boy, you are so Then cool. push him out with your inside leg so he brings his eyes in over. Good, Meg, well yeah. done. Lovely. Correct. Good boy. Fabulous, well done. Ooh. Nice. Oh, he's so cool. And there you kept him in a really nice rhythm throughout, didn't you? Yeah. Good boy. Super. It's so interesting though, it's like all the, it's like punctuating it. Like, like you said there, getting the inside bend again. Absolutely. And I just felt instantly, but I don't think if you hadn't said that, because I Because he'd left slightly it. gone there with yeah. his shoulder, hadn't he? He'd slightly pushed onto the left shoulder and he was thinking he might have a spook. So by, by pushing that shoulder back out into the outside rein, You've then got an upright horse to then complete the turn yeah. and jump whatever you wanted afterwards. Yeah. And it's just, as you say, punctuation. It's recognising that, isn't it, in time. It's not necessarily the fence, is it? It's how no. you get to the fence, how you make those turns and feeling what's going on underneath you. Yeah, so absolutely. That, so that you've got the horse where you want. Yeah. But yeah. it's good. Just know, knowing when to do it. <laughs> Exactly, but you, but you you felt that because once I asked you to do it, you recognised it. Yeah, yeah. And that's 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 the biggest difficulty, learning. isn't it? Yeah. You know, if you're unaware that it that that you, or you couldn't recognise it when I mentioned it, then you haven't got that feeling, but you have. <laughs> so marvellous, right? We're going to make this an up right now. Look at this. It's like being at Hoy's at the arena party. We've suddenly got many glamorous assistants. We like that. Over the Cavaletti, then up over your, your yellow one, mm -hmm. and then we'll turn left-handed down over this Oxa. Okay. Then we'll go round the back of the Cavaletti to jump the pink one towards the gate. Okay. Happy? Yep. Yes, you've got light turn, turns there where yeah. you may have to reposition his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, but just keep that, um, you riding the, the balance, the rhythm and, and your line. And just give him the confidence with your leg. Okay. I always say the most, the, we should always make a decision. Yeah. Afterwards, we could decide whether it was the right decision or not. Yeah. But we must always make a decision. Good, Meg, well done. Hold his hands with your leg. Rhythm, balance, eyes. Good. And look left. Super. Narrow hands. Push those short, that short inside shoulder out. Looking. And then look up and look right. Oh, sorry, Super. I'm late. Look, wasn't I? Good. Push the court shoulders out. Fabulous. Wow. He is Boom. incredible. Well, that was quite epic, wasn't it? He's just amazing. Oh, <laughs> good boy. But I felt I was. Late to look on this. I late like, to look in the direction you were going or I, late to look where you were going? I think late to look in the direction I was yes. going. Yeah. Yes. Because you said it, then I was like, oh my God, yeah. And then I needed to do it as you were saying it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Which is why I butted in. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that was do. lovely. You know, even from the beginning there, you had a really nice canter, didn't you? Yeah. You had a good rhythm and the, then the distances. Don't stress about your stride. Yeah. If you've got the, the balance and the rhythm and your line, then the, the, the distance is going to appear. Okay. Just be reactive and ride what, ride what you see. Okay. That was great. It was really lovely. Good boy. I thought you managed that turn well. Yeah, because that came up quite quickly. Yes. Yeah. Um, but he went to fall in on your right leg around that turn there, didn't he? Yeah. So it's recognising that. You corrected it well, but it's recognising it before it happens. Yeah. Isn't it? It's anticipating yeah. what may well happen. Yeah. No, absolutely. 
Should we shake it up a bit now? Yeah, I mean, not, not too vigorous, but... <laughs> no, let's come this time. We'll go up the same course that you've just done. Uh-huh. And then after this pink one, yep. I want you to go on the bending line to your red oxa here. OK. Happy? Yep. Afterwards, and we would like you to turn right towards Tara. OK. And then we can come um, down over your pink one once more. OK. So same course, yep. but we're adding on that one towards the mirror. And back to the pink. Turning right-handed and then down over that pink one and turning left-handed. Oh, OK. All the turns. All the turns. Good because boy. I've already gauged that you're thinking, oh, gosh, about the red oxa. Yeah. So my job here is to give you a job to do afterwards so that then you're focusing, you need to focus on that job rather than yeah, the oxa. Yeah, like rather than thinking that you, the full stop's there. Yeah. It isn't because you've got to make the turn and come down to this up right here. Yeah. Yeah? So, so ride the rhythm things. and the balance and the line from there. You want to be out towards the gate to then come on your line and then turn right-handed. Yeah. So looking right. Right. right you've think. got this. <laughs> And take your time. Oh, and sorry, I've up. missed the turn. Uh -huh. Should I come and do the pink again? Just do the red one on its own. Okay. And then we'll do the two together. And look right. Super. Good. Now go large and come out of the corner and do the pink to the red this okay. time. And take your time. Look right. Good. Sorry, boy. Super. Well done. Good. Okay. So talk me through. Talk me through that. So I think it was going well up until this point. Yes. And then got a bit speedy around the turn. Yes. And I don't think. And that and that was really um, the slight undoing. That that was the only problem, wasn't it? Yeah. Because once he got speedy, and you and, and he'd gone away from you, yeah. then suddenly it all came a bit too quickly because he was slightly rushing. Yeah. 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 So then you needed to get him back into the rhythm that you had to begin with, which was perfect, spot on. Yeah. And then this wouldn't be have been such a surprise. No, exactly. Yeah? And I felt like. <laughs> He was probably ready for it, but he was thinking faster than I was. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> well, exactly. And you don't know him. And then when we broke it down into manageable bits, he jumped the, the oxa really nicely. Yeah. And then when we came to link them together, you slightly put a bit too much pressure on yourself and him for the first one. Yeah. Didn't you? The last few strides, yeah. you, you used the leg and, and, and chased him a little bit. So then this came up a bit quicker than you thought as well. Yeah. So when I'm splitting hairs here and being ultra critical, that was really good the last time, but it could have been even better. Yeah, no, yeah? I agree. Because then I kind of had to drift a bit, didn't I? So yes. that I could give myself a bit more time. A bit more, a bit more time. Yeah. Yes. So pick up the right rain canter and let's just do that pink to the red once more. Perfect. Um, and then after the after that one, you could then come down and do the pink one to finish off the course. Perfect. Actually, why don't we start with this oxer in front of me? Okay. Because that's where that's where it it started to it yeah. started to get quick. Yeah. And eyes, eyes, eyes. Good. Hold his hand with your lower leg. Yeah. Looking. Sorry, darling, sorry. Good boy, sorry. 
Well done. Up until that last one, it was brilliant, wasn't it? I really it? didn't need to intervene with him then, did yeah, I? Yeah, you just needed to trust your canter. Yeah. I think, um, and also that's a little bit, you had you had it so perfect yeah. that you didn't want the last one to go wrong. And so then you overtried. Yeah. Yeah, it's... and you, then we go to the hand and it's, it's what happens. Yeah. But that's all good part of training, isn't it? To recognise that, that and yeah, actually no, think, right, I mustn't try to avoid a mistake. I just need to ride. Yeah, no, because it's like that when you're competing, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. You get to the last fence, you're like, oh, I need to yeah, pick Yeah, exactly. Up. I'm about to win the competition. I've only got to jump the last fence. Yeah. Um, and then we start to change things and make it more difficult for, for them and for us. Yeah. But that was so much better, wasn't it? I was really pleased with how this went. Yeah, and this one. Yes. Yes, yeah. this one was good. Your line was good. It was, yeah, it was, yeah. and that was, that was a good talking point there as well. To yeah. talk about and it's, last it was so frustrating because I felt myself do it and then it's almost like once you've intervened then you yes. kind of I had to add a stride at that point because I'd messed with it we'll we'll go through the empty wings to begin with lovely and then we'll just do the little one on the floor then we'll add we'll add and then we'll add and we'll add yeah, yeah? brilliant thank you okay shall we come off the right rein Meg yep and first of all walk out walk over it and then we could then you could trot, trot on and come round and trot. Okay. And once you've trotted through it once, we'll halt on the straight line, make a turn and trot back through the other ah, way. Okay. So we're explaining what we're wanting him to do. Yeah. But it also gives you the opportunity to work out how he is. Eyes up, riding Sorry, forward confidently. God, yeah. That's good it. Good boy. Hey, good. And either reward him with your voice or a little pat. Good lad. And then trot on this time. Did you feel how he did a little bit of a wobble in his with his shoulders? Yeah. That's where your lower leg and where he says, go on, you're all right. Okay. And your eye says, come on, this is where we're going. Look up to the glamorous muck heap or something. Yes. Absolutely. And then he's straighter, isn't he? Ooh, yeah, so Super. much straighter. Good. And then a little turn about, a turn on the forehand or something. Sorry, and then trot back through again. Narrow hands. So your hands are a corridor. Ooh. Eyes up. Super, good well boy. done. Good. Happy, that yep. was very good. Yep. Now come in trot again and over the over the hedge, off this right rein. Okay. So your line is really important where you're looking. Keep your hands narrow unless you feel it wobble and then you can open them up. Okay. And then bring them back to neutral again. Good, eyes up, lower leg. Good yes, boy. very good. Good, and, and make a fuss of him. Good. Good. Oh, let's, he's so sweet. Let's come once more. Oh. Oh, God, hand. Eyes up, eyes up. Good, boy. well done. And make a fuss of him. Good boy. Oh, he likes looking at himself in the mirror. <laughs> he's like, God, I'm handsome. Yeah, God, God, he's <laughs> that handsome person. I did such a good job. Well done. I love the smile on his face and his eyes are twinkling. Yeah, and his ears are going backwards and job. forwards. He's communicating with you, isn't he, with his yeah, ears? Yeah. He's listening to what you're saying. He's absolutely he's having a nice time. So we've just gone bigger now. Yep. Yeah. So we'll now just come in the canter, uh -huh. pop over in the canter. And just do it the same. And just do the same. Okay. Tell me, are you turning left or right afterwards? Yeah, which way do you like me to turn? Let's go. Really... Let's turn left. Left. Okay. So we yeah. give you a job to do. Haven't made a decision, have I? <laughs> we'll give you. We'll give you a job to do because you're focusing too much on the hedge. Yeah. And not about. And not enough about the plan and how you're going to execute no, it. No, you're right. And eyes. Lovely. Good boy. Really good. Now don't forget that shoulder. Push that shoulder out. Correct. Well done. Good, and make a fuss of him. Oh, good boy. Brilliant. What a good boy. Well, that was all right, was it not? Oh my God, he's so cool. That was lovely, really nice. Good um, boy. This one is the same height as this one. Yeah. Now we're just going to string the three together. Okay. So we'll come over the hedge that you've just done, off the, yep. off the right rein, turn left. Yep. Then this time I want you to canter down to this one here. God, okay. Yes and then canter on round and over here. Okay. It's not about knowing where the fences are. It's about knowing how you're going to get from fence to fence. Yeah. Yeah? So we've already highlighted, and you've done it brilliantly. After this fence 
he didn't do it that time, did he? Yeah. But in the past, he's wanted to fall in on that shoulder. So make sure he comes through that turn correctly and onto your line over there. Okay. Towards the sun. Is it okay going towards the sun? Yep, you can see it. Should it's be. If not, it's a good excuse if I mess to it up. To be looking up. <laughs> and then, as you make the turn, I want you to follow the railings almost to the gate. Okay. Keep him out there with your inside leg and okay. turn him onto the line and just jump that as, as confidently as you jumped that. Okay. The only difference is that it's got a bit of green in here rather than a bit of brown. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. don't overcomplicate it. Just do get from fence to fence correctly and over them. Good. Oh, and sorry, I messed up. Oh, I'm sorry, Nicola, sorry. That's fine. Oh, I panicked. You did. Yeah, I'm you so didn't sorry. mess up. You just panicked. Outside rain, don't panic. Ride the same as you just done the last two. Now look up at the shed, look up at the building, look up at the building. Yes, Boy. well done. And that was a really good assessment of what happened. Yeah. Yeah? I'm so sorry. It's the worst thing you can do to pull a horse out of a skinny. Good boy. You did it. You did it well in advance, and actually, you gave him a really nice ride the second time. Well done. It's just I get like this, this fog that it's, comes over me, and I. And can't... that's you, you're not alone. That's that. That's part. That's what happens. Yeah. And it's how we deal with that, recognise it, and actually say, "Come on, that's not necessary. Don't need you. You're not helping me." Yeah. Park it over there, the fog. Yeah. And make sure you've got sunshine. Would I have been best, like, just staying on my line and staying still, or...? Stay on your line, hold him with your lower legs so you, you've always got that connection and that power. Yeah. Yeah? And hold him on his line and you focus on your rhythm and your balance. Yeah. Yeah, it's his job to take off and to land. Yeah. yeah. So hold him on his line and he, he is an athlete. He is. Yeah? yeah. So he can, if he needs to do a little bit of fancy footwork, he can. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's understandable that with something, you know, it's a complicated question, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's multi it's multicolored, it's narrow, and now it's got a little bit more width to it as well. Yeah. To what we've been working on at the beginning. Yeah. So it's understandable that you think, oh gosh, I don't want to make a mistake. But actually if you concentrate on your rhythm, your balance and your line. We've yeah, then he, then it's up to him, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so another great lesson. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. We're going to shake it up again. <laughs> there was me thinking we were all done. <laughs> no, because you said that you wanted to do a little bit of cross country and some technical lines. Mm. Yeah. I feel like we've done that. <laughs> so we're now going to come over here as fence one. With that one? The, yes. Okay. And then we're going to turn back on ourselves. Oh, you're... We're just going to change this uh, around a little bit yeah. with my glamorous arena party. On the bending line to your hedge that you jumped so beautifully. Talk me through what you need to, what would be important to focus on and remember here to, to, Keep... to make sure that it's going to be a success. Keeping my, well, not letting that outside shoulder go, so keeping, yeah, the sort of weight in my outside shoulder. I felt a little bit this one. I think we were drifting a bit towards the fence. Uh, okay. Was I? I'm trying yes. to think what way I was. I, well, possibly, possibly a little bit, but I thought you rode him confidently and positively. I thought you did a nice job. Okay. Yes, he did. He did drift a little bit, but you balanced him. You you presented him, and then you gave him positivity and confidence in your riding. I thought you did a nice job. Yes, you did drift a little bit. So, to do again, we need to be ac even more accurate and yeah. make sure that he is jumping on the line that you want. Yeah. You've got to take ownership of that line like the balance and like the rhythm. Yeah, and I guess that'll be and harder then, coming from there. Exactly, because you've got the tight turn and then you're going in the opposite direction on your on your turn back to the next one. Yeah, so make sure also when I land that yes. I'm looking. And then ride straight before making your turn. So you're yeah. always disciplined in your way of riding um, so that then it, you can build on it for another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah? absolutely. Good. Good boy. So another thing, um, 
Meg, is that he might well want to fall in a bit, mightn't he, round that turn? Yeah. Like he was a little bit to begin with until you recognised it round that turn there. OK. So yeah, if he's already falling in, you've got, you've got a wibbly wobbly horse. So inside leg, pushing him out into the turn. We've already practised the turn because we've, we've done it here. Yeah. 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 And we've, all, we've, we've actually already practised this question. Yeah. Over, the, over there. Always so you, all coming together. You can see the progression. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. You okay. would have thought it was planned. <laughs> Honestly. How does it all come together like this? I'm so sorry. Good boy. Fine. Go on. Ride oh. on. Good lad. Eyes, remember, must stay up. Good, oh well done. And then repeat it. Carry on cantering. You did a good job. Now believe in yourself. Eyes up. Good, oh get my on gosh. there. I'm so sorry. That was great, he loved it. Look at your fence. Yes. Super. Jeez, he can jump. Now you've unleashed the beast, Meg. Oh, my word. I thought I wasn't coming back down from orbit then. <laughs> what a boy. You are incredible. You needed a parachute after this I one. Did. <laughs> it's because I had the fog and I was like, no, come on, you can do this. And you did. And, and you made it happen. And look how much fun he had. Yeah, he Didn't made me he? enormous. Yeah, he had so much fun. He was like, yeah, bring it on. I've yeah. got this. He was like, I'm a three-star horse, baby. <laughs> <laughs>
that was incredible. Brilliant. Oh, well I definitely done. want to bring some up. We're going to have to make a, a little <laughs> trip up and have a camp. A little here or trip something. up. Well, that would be nice. Right, mister, should we give you back to your mummy as much as I don't want to? My name's Poppy and this is Flora. Hello. And um, I thought Nick, I mean, Megan's session was really good and I really enjoyed it. And yeah. Did you learn lots from Nick? Yeah, I liked, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was just good and. I didn't really get bored, it was like entertaining. <laughs> Let's hope the viewers are thinking that at home as well. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased you didn't get bored. Yeah. How about you, Flora? Because it's your birthday today, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, and how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And tell me, where are we going? Are we going to go and get some lunch now? Yeah, we're going to the tap room. To the tap room. Brilliant. Right. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Right. Waiting for the soup to warm up. That was so amazing. I literally had the best time ever. Thank you, you so were much brilliant. for that. You were great. You had a super horse in G and um, yeah, you did superbly well. To ride a strange horse over a course of fences and then over skinnies, which you wanted to do, was you were, you were brilliant. There was a point where I was like, I really should have asked to do skinnies. <laughs> that, that was so narrow, those ones. They but are so, so good for training. Very, very yeah. good. But uh, yeah, mission accomplished, I would say. Yeah. It was. No, that was fantastic. Yeah. And like I said, I'm desperate now to bring a lorry load up here. Persuade mum to drive me up and leave me here for a week and just oh, well, have you're welcome. loads of training. Loads of training. Anyway, we were going to have a little bit more of a chat. Firstly, about your career, because I feel like I've not, I've not spoken about that before. And I actually saw you at London. I was oh. there. And oh, you've just had the most amazing career. I was, I was stalking you a little bit. And am I correct in saying that your horse, was it Mr. Bumble? Yes, my, yes. Took you from Pony Club to Badminton? He did. I got him when he was four and I was 13, so obviously I didn't know much about how to ride correctly at all. <laughs> but um, so he did Pony Club, um, principally he did games at Pony Club, he did everything to do how with big Pony was he? Club. He was 16 hands. Oh, but he was a racehorse, so was, he, he raced as a two year old. I got him as a four year old. But what a, what a fabulous horse. So he went all the way from Pony Club all the way through to nine Babingtons and Burleys. Wow. Long format. Um, wow. But oh, what a, an amazing, amazing horse with massive heart oh. um, and just so kind. And yeah, he was certainly a horse to show me what it was like to compete at those amazing events yeah. and be on that, you know, at, at those events and being the prize giving with my idols that I had pictures of them already still sticking hanging up in my in my, <laughs> you know, in my bedroom. And I was like, oh. and you know, and there you are in amongst them. And it was just, it was surreal. You sort of pinch yourself and yeah. you, you think it's really easy to get there, which I thought at the time it was. Then I realised it wasn't that easy. <laughs> But anyway, he, yeah, he, he was a, a super, super horse. How incredible though, finding your feet together though, at every level, it must have been, was that not a bit nerve wracking, never having, did you, did you ever well, have one? Because yeah, I think ignorance or? is bliss, bliss sometimes, okay. isn't it? You know, I started the event usually near the, near the bottom after the dress off because I didn't really understand that. I was always a brave rider cross country and yeah. Bumble was as well. And he was a, he was a puller, he, he was a strong horse. So I used to bounce him off the crowds at the big events to get him <laughs> slow enough, slow, slow enough to get to present him to the fences. And I remember um, Lucinda Green saying, oh, "Well done, Nicola. Well done. That's really good. Now we need to learn to have the finesse of riding cross country." I was like, "Oops." <laughs> but uh, yeah, he yeah, for, he was a phenomenal horse. Oh, Exciting. Yeah. Amazing. And then I learned, you know as I went through my career, how to, um, that, that going cross country wasn't about being out of control. It was about being in control and delivering it all nice and smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Not no, just the crowd. No, <laughs> poor crowd, poor crowd. Oh, but you were just, like you and Opposition Buzz were so fast. I remember every time you were on a team or something, it was always like, Nick's going to be closest to the time. Like, you were just incredible. Yeah. Well, the ironic thing here is that he came to me because he was getting time faults cross country. But he he was, you know, he was plenty blood enough. Yeah. Um, and, um, but it was his way of jumping. He would come to a fence, sort of drop the bridle a little bit, so then you wouldn't have that connection. Oh, God. Then he would just take off. He was like a jump jet harrier. He would literally <laughs> just take off and then land on all four feet. 
you know, there's a horse that needed grease on his back legs because he caught from his hock down over sometimes on a fence, not because, um, you know, not oh, because he was yeah, catching his front leg. But uh, it's just a phenomenal horse of, of massive power, massive heart, loved the sport of eventing. And um, yeah, he was so exciting and exhilarating to, yeah. to ride. Oh. So and you're he just got him. faster and faster. So how, like, how did you speed him up then? He, he just got more and more confident and he yeah. stayed more down the rain. Um, and um, yeah, the, the, the quicker he went, the easier he found it to jump. Yeah. You know, um, and he had so much power and so brave that coming down to these big fences was just no problem. But of course, then, the whole, then he gets a bit more confident and he gets a little bit too co cocky. And then it was my <laughs> job, not necessarily just to show him where he was going, but also to be his handbrake. To say, yeah. actually, no, you can't go that fast. You need to, we need to do it this way and that way. And uh, so, yeah, I was a little bit his handbrake and his, and his navigator all, all in one, really. Yeah. Um, but as he, you know, the more events he did, and yes, he, he was a phenomenal cross-country horse um, and also quick then becomes the expectation that you're expected to go to the clear one, and, yeah. and, and be quick. Um, so, you know, that builds the anxiety and nerves. Actually, you hope you can deliver it as a, as a rider, as a partnership. So you sort of, you're aware of that expectation and you just hope that you can deliver it at the, at the big events when it really matters. Yeah, I imagine the pressure at London was just, that yeah. must have been wild. Like competing, cause you'd always wanted to, to go in the Olympics, hadn't you? But As a child, yeah, exactly. Doing it at London. I know. Like, oh. Insane, really. Absolutely incredible. And, you know, we all suffer from nerves or have done at some point in our career. And, and I certainly did for the dressage and the show jumping. Um, and it was amazing, really, at London. Um, how, you know, I went to do the dressage and I thought I wasn't nervous at all. You learn coping mechanisms on how to deal with your nerves. And I went to the dressage, did my dressage, came away, and then went up, up, up onto the top where the cross country was the following day. And I thought, oh my goodness, I am so incredibly nervous. But because you've learned to deal with your nerves, and for the cross country, you need your nerves to be yeah. reactive, to be, you know, to quickly deal with situations as they come up. I was aware of how incredibly nervous I was at, at London. And then again, for the show jumping, how you, you calm that all down and you, you park it and you put it to yeah. one side and go, actually, nerves not necessary today. You go over there, I need, I've got to do a job. Um, and it was, and I, that really hit me how, um, yeah, how prevalent those nerves were, and how you were dealing with them, and how then you were letting them be part of your competition. Yeah. To help you. That sounds like an art form, though, being able to like decide when you have when, them when you when don't. Not. That's something I've not mastered you yet. Will. But you, you know, will. when I do, maybe the Olympics were on the cards. You know, <laughs> might be the only thing holding us back. Oh no, it's been an amazing career but it is you know we've sadly taken a, a different direction now but Tara it's, there are many sort of positive things coming out now aren't yes, there with there final are. research there's really exciting yeah. stuff that's yeah. that's helping yeah. everyone yeah so I mean you know what's happening next year is incredible so literally for as long as they have been able to know about spinal injuries I think the first incident of recorded injury was in hieroglyphics and Egyptian hieroglyphics so literally about thousands of years ago and it said then there's no cure for it. Uh, and for thousands of years, there hasn't been a cure. But next year, the first function restoring treatment for chronic spinal cord injury is going to be launched, um, mm. which is an incredible breakthrough. And this is something that's not invasive, that can be used in physio settings, um, and is literally through the skin, so no operation anything required. And the thing about this injury is people think that people in wheelchairs are just unable to walk. But what Nick is, you know, a demonstration of is that she is able to walk around, but is still really struggling with some of the functions that have been stolen by this injury. So you really struggle with your hand function, Nick, you're saying. Yes, and just, you know, you take for granted, even just being able to eat, yeah. you know, cut, cut your food up. Or, or just feel less like, you know, I feel often a little bit like an animal now when I'm eating. You know, I'm trying really hard to have my finger on top of my fork and, and, use, the, and use my knife correctly. And actually, you know, you sort of find, a, you find a, a knack or an art of disguising your limitations a little bit, don't you? And, you know, when we go out for supper, I'll still discreetly cut my food up like a child. Or sometimes I'll just say to the waitress, would you mind just cutting up my food, you know, just like a child's, but make it look pretty. Um, <laughs> so, and it comes out, and it just means you can actually enjoy your yeah. evening and chat, 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 
without having the stress of a, of a piece of chicken flying across the room or you can't cut your potato or, you know, and it's just, you, yeah, it's just silly little things, you know, writing, can't, can't, can't write. write things, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not too worried about not being able to wash up, I have to say. Yeah, that's, that's as I say, my husband always complains about the fact I can't wash up. All my physio is graded as to when can I actually wash up. Not yet is the answer. <laughs> but you don't realise how many different movements your hand, yeah. your hand and your arm and your shoulders and every part of your um, your your limb really yeah. um, is is doing a job to facilitate what your hands are then doing. Yeah. Now remember having and you will be the same, but in hospital you have shower practice, you have eat lunch practice where the occupational therapists come round and they they help you with the basic skills of feeding yourself yeah. and and, I, and they said right you know order a hot something hot for lunch um, so I did and then um, you know and a knife and a fork and I remember staring at the knife and the fork and you learn how to do these things like tying your shoelace as, a, as, a, as an yeah. infant you don't think about it's not it's something that's automatic and I was staring at my knife and fork thinking well how do I do it how do I how do I do this yeah and then how do I get the food to my mouth um, and I'm doing that relatively easily now. But then, you know, she said, "Well, stick your elbow out and lift up your arm." So it's like, completely retrain. Oh my goodness! Movement, yeah, it's like trying this, yeah. to literally get the job done, not be tidy enough to go to a nice restaurant. <laughs> and it's also just everything's much slower in life. Like I constantly yeah. find myself being stymied by things like not being able to open jars or yeah. do up zips. Like it takes me forever to get out. Yeah. I'm sitting there for ages trying to do my coat up because I don't have two hands to, to pinch and grip at the same yeah. time so it really affects your life I think. and buttons I can't do buttons oh yeah, yeah. you know buttons yeah. it's all yeah. few, like in the winter when we've got so many clothes on now <laughs> and you need to go use the, the loo or something you know you've got all it takes you for so long yeah, to get all the zippers and the clips yeah. and oh my goodness yeah no it does so it affects every aspect of your life so there's lots of other functions that get stolen by this injury as well so there's like blood pressure regulation and, and uh, body temperature regulation and bowel and bladder function and breathing function so many other things so finding a, a cure for paralysis yeah. is going to be about restoring all of those functions wow. and quite a long journey but the great news is that we do have a whole load of stuff sort of waiting in research waiting in labs to come through this thing that's launching next year is going to be the first of them but there's other stuff but this area has always traditionally been underfunded because people thought there wasn't any science yeah. that could help now there is the science that can help what we need is the money the funding because without that money we can't translate it from the laboratory and the research environment into the hands of people like me who need it yeah so what i'd say to anybody is you know particularly for horsey people obviously because this is you know an at-risk sport if anybody's thinking about supporting a charity please think about supporting spinal research and helping us get that money um, to fund these fantastic new treatments and start helping people get the hand function back and get all their other functions back um, that would be fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, you said it so well there, and it is every time we get on a horse is a risk. And I think having you two, because your accident was out hacking, yes. wasn't it? I was literally just riding up a field, yeah, yeah. I got bucked off, yeah, and landed on my head. And it should, yeah. you know, it can happen yeah. out hacking or yeah. it can happen at five star. Yeah. We're always, always at risk. I always say that I'm a five star level at falling off is where I got to. <laughs> 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 Gotta be five stars or something. Gotta be five stars or something. <laughs> Certainly nothing else. I'm not sure. But no, it is. It is such a risk, and it is something we should all be trying to support. I know it is a difficult time for people, um, but if there's anything that can be donated, you know, over this period, it will go so so far, won't it? And it's. Yeah. It will help so many people and I mean you guys have progressed an amazing amount from from where you were yeah, after yeah, yeah exactly after yeah. accidents but there's yeah. still there's so much more that could be done isn't yeah. there it's with giving this people research. hope isn't it hope and independence yeah. Yeah. And, you know often it's the yes we are the patients um but it affects ev the whole everybody close around you you yeah. know yeah. um that support you know like for example alistair you know, always knowing that actually there might be a ah, can you do this? Yeah. Or just you know, it's it, it affects everybody. That's the, all the loved the loved ones. They talk about a life changing injury, and it doesn't just change the life of the people who get injured. It changes all their friends and family around yeah. as well. Um, and they have to make massive sacrifices to accommodate you know what's happened to us. So it's it's great if we, you know, even the the smallest bits of function that get restored can make such a big difference. You know, my right hand is probably about ten percent function. If I got 30% function back, 
that would transform my life. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to do much to make a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. So, so important. Yeah, we would be incredibly grateful for anything anyone can donate. And of course, Spinal Research being amazing and they're donating a prize as well. Yeah, so, yeah, coming the other way. Exactly, it all goes around. So remember to yeah, head over to Instagram to win the badminton tickets. Yeah. Very exciting, but thank you so much for having me here. It's been amazing. And I feel like I could sit and chat to you guys all day, but oh, okay. conscious not to have the cameras rolling for ages and ages, but no, it's been, Thank you for inviting me and no, thank you for, for organising. Yeah, yeah it's great. So I'm grateful to both of you, honestly. Thank you so much for all of your time and coming all the way up. It's, well, it's, it's a privilege. Oh, no, it's been great fun teaching, mate. Anytime. Yeah. And, um, you did so well. And so well. <laughs> thank you, thank yeah. you. Now, before we end it, Nicola, this is a series, so there's a little twist that. Oh. You are going to be the only person that knows what I'm filming next, well, and you as well, Tara, yeah, actually. So, yeah. if we can get some advice for the next video without giving it away. Ride as you've been riding there this afternoon, focusing okay. on your rhythm and your balance, and just getting the job done. Try not to avoid a mistake, because so you will make a head. mistake. Yeah. Yes. Yes, just do, get on and do it. Get on and do it. Don't Correct. overthink it, girl. This is the advice that I need. Just okay. go get it. Go get it. Brilliant. Well, does that give some for me? Does it not? I don't think it does. Anyway, a massive, massive thank you. I've had the best day ever. It's been incredible. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to head to Instagram for the giveaway. And down below, I'm going to leave a link to the donation page for Spinal Research. Yeah. Anything you can give would be absolutely amazing. If you're not in a position to give anything, sharing it, sharing it on social media, getting it as far as possible would still do Awareness a great deal Awareness of help. So yeah, anything you could do would be really appreciated. Live, love, love you. Shall we have some soup? Definitely. Sounds good. Sounds good. And chocolate. Soup and chocolate, and chocolate. And chocolate. right. Biscuits. Bye guys, Excellent sorry. <laughs>